Hey everybody, Dr. Nicole Friels here. I have another nail case coming your way. Come with me and check out these nails. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So key thing, um, if you're watching at home, is to make sure that skin is just so fragile underneath the nail, especially as it gets longer. It, we know if we let our nails grow out to, uh, long it gets sensitive and a lot of times it's pretty easy especially something like this if you want to jump in here that what skin honestly it's us we need to just be seeing each other regularly to oh. trim the nail yeah so I'm gonna just get the bulk here of the nail and then of course we've got the water dremel that's being set up to smooth out those rough edges and one thing that's really helpful is to really give your feet a good soak right before you come, because you know what we did is growing up, we always soaked our, or took a shower and then cut our nails, right? So it makes them less brittle and we can get more of that. So we're really gonna get the Dremel on that one because he's more thick. You know, the length is good for these nippers, but the thickness of the Dremel really does the work for us. You doing okay up there? Mm -hmm. Good. Well, don't jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like the little. Beep, 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 I... beep, beep. Oh no! Well, this is going to be a lot of fun then, huh? I don't think you. You haven't done it with water though, so that might be better. That's what I do at home. Is it the vibration that bothers you with the Dremel, or just kind of the thought of it? Well, both that and it, it's, it's, it's a little painful, too. Oh, okay. The noises are also... Yeah. Loud well, I know when I'm getting my teeth clean, no matter what, I hate when they bring that instrument and they start scraping. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just in my ear. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of debris in this corner right here. Yeah, no, it's okay. That's why you're here. This stuff, unless you have a bird's eye view like me, you can't get this out. And the skin well, is. I don't know. I mean, I'm not digging into, into dirt, so I don't understand. <laughs> it's crazy. It's sock fuzz. Mm -hmm. oh. It's built up from uh, a little bit of fungus in the nails. Well, I have a kitty. I do a lot of <laughs> kissing. I know kitty. <laughs> She's got a beautiful. Oh, uh, no. Are you going to do take socks off at night? Because I think she sleeps in the uh, I don't. I just get in the bed yeah. and go to sleep. I don't. You could not part me, sorry about that, from my socks and going to bed. No way. <laughs> I'm going to get the Dremel on that corner so I can, because it's just uh, so crumbly. Well, I guess I don't, but it doesn't bother me. I just, I might be getting hot again. My socks oh, see, then. people are either they love socks or they're like, do something about this ugliness. Yeah. I'm going to Dremel that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get the, the power tools on that one. Oh, okay. In fact, Angelic, I'd like for you to put that, the large head, the big Dremel bit on the water okay. first so I can get, use that. And then I'll go to the fine toothed, very, the detail work on the, on them. I think I have a little container in the, nice soft. the closet. Yeah, these toes that really kind of curl That's down like this, um, people are more prone to so having pain to the water. tips of the toes and the nails because, as you can see here, how red that is. That's from the toe so sitting on the yeah. ground like this. I've done that for a while. So, of course, those nails become very painful. I've even had um, people with issues with uh, pain back at the cuticle when the nail and the toe shape like that. So it's something to watch out for. Okay. I'm good up there. Yeah. Sorry if I'm torturing you. No, not yet, but I feel it. A little bit at a time, small little bites. Mm -hmm. Make sure we don't have any skin 
at the tip of this. That's the worst. That's great. There we go. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get much with the nippers off of this right big toenail here. I think that's going to be more so for the... Let's see here. Yeah, it's not a lot to grab here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the power tools on the little solid spot here. Angelica, are you ready for the first? Yes, ma'am. First one, okay. Great. If you're suffering from thick or fungal toenails, apply repair once a day to thin them out. Also, it's an antibacterial to help fight any infections in the area. Massage gently into the cuticles for, on your hands or feet for those rough hangnails that stick on your socks and all that good stuff. This will kind of take care of all of it and you'll notice a huge difference in your toenails and skin the cuticle area within two months. I'll get this small one on that. That's so little. Here we go. So this is best for the bigger toenails and the thicker and then we'll get the, the small instruments in the corners and on the edges. You're doing great. Are you silently, feel like you're being tortured up there? Oh, just a little. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Yes, in between. Absolutely. Right. Excellent tip. Yeah. Um, because that skin is so fragile. Mm -hmm. That's what I do for I use okay. that bag bomb to get rid of the little pieces of Yeah. You know what would be really helpful? Because you've got a little bit of athlete's foot in there as well. Is um an antifungal cream and washing your uh, feet in an antifungal soap. Oh. We have one, it's called Clean. Really great. This is an overall. An overall. Here we go. That's more like it. But such a little bit of a nail. So yeah, using a good thick cream. I like cream over lotion just because lotion has a high water content. And I figure if you're taking the time to, to use it, might as well get, you know, best thing for your buck. Of course, yeah. Yeah, we use um, a foot balm called Hydrate. Very thick, only maybe a couple times a um, a week for good hydration. But we are first going to start with you to make sure that we get rid of all of the uh, fungus on the skin. And I'm going to call in something called Lotrazone, which is a really great way to knock out that the fungal the fungus on the skin. I would just use it a few times. A, oh, no, the Lotrazone every day. Ideally twice a day. Mm -hmm. I'm a cat a holic. I love, my whole Facebook feed is really Aww. sad, is cats. Mm -hmm. But I, I want a dog now, because our two cats, they were very elderly, and unfortunately my husband had to take them to the vet like literally three times a week. Mm -hmm. I know, <laughs> kidney issues. Yeah. So he's not really wanting to get another animal right now, because he did that for three years. Mm -hmm. I don't have any 
All the dead skin is really builds up over the cuticle as well. And corners in here. Did you have any corners that were bothering you from the nails or? Not that I know. Good, 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 good. No, it sounds like a trick question. It really wasn't. <laughs> I just want to make sure if I need to pay attention well, to any. Usually on my feet, and I don't have a lot of pain. I don't think I don't good. Think I do. mm -hmm. okay, that's about that. Okay, we'll get y'all cleaned up. Let's try and get a little more off this. It's just not a lot of room to give. So we were talking about um, really getting in between those toes before we started recording this so I like to take just the edge of the washcloth like this and just almost thread it oh. and you can see you can get quite a bit of debris out hmm. well what do you think about the bomb the uh, what do we call it the bang bomb yeah is that okay I don't want you to use that right now because oh. you're going to be using the antifungal oh. um, fungus loves a moist environment so I want to kill the fungus first, and then we will start hydrating again. Okay. See what's remaining. Because I have people that come in that think they just have dead skin mm -hmm. um, and dry skin, and it's actually fungus. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you have to treat it sequentially. How can you tell the difference between the two? Flaking, okay. redness, mm -hmm. the distribution. Mm -hmm. A lot of times with fungus, you'll see it coming up. Um, well, this is wet now, so it's kind of hard to see, but what we call a moccasin type distribution, meaning it'll come along the edges here. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, how do those feel? It feels pretty good. Good, good, good. Let me take a look here. Let me see my handiwork. Relax that foot so I can see. There wonder, we go. I wonder if that has anything to do with everything else that I have. All right, guys, you have a new filmer today. Her name is Shania, so let give us some feedback. Let us know how she did. Good or bad, I'll put your cell phone number up there too. Mm. See. So <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab this here and put some lotion on, and we'll let this sit here and dry for a minute. Should feel really good. This has got peppermint in it. Mm. This is uh, what we have. It's called Nourish. Yes. Can that be used anywhere else? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, I use it all over. I have. Um, I use something called Hydrate which is the foot balm, mm -hmm. technically, but I use it on my face. And I just ordered this huge vat of it because I want to put it all over my body because I'm just seeing such an improvement in, you know, my skin. I uh -huh. could use that. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. All right. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Got some tips, learned a little something. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, comment, hit the bell, do all that stuff. I'll see you next time.